Hello, everybody. The question that has come my way this week is one that has been floating around for quite some time, especially during this period of pandemic, when a lot of churches are closed. And the question is this. Is it possible to go to confession online by video conference or over the phone? Let's take a look at that. As you know by now, I like to begin with sacred scripture. This time we'll take as our starting point the opening verse of the first letter of St. John. We declare to you what was from the beginning, what we've heard, what we have seen with our eyes, what we have looked at and touched with our hands concerning the word of life. Here, St. John is speaking of the very heart of what the church proclaims. And he's saying that that center is something real, something physically present, something that was seen and touched. What he's referring to is not actually something, but someone, and not just anyone. He's referring to the incarnation, the mystery of Jesus, who's the word made flesh, the Son of God who assumed a human nature. In Jesus, God truly, really became present in order to encounter people truly and really. Jesus did not become present virtually. He rendered himself physically present to us in order that we might have an authentic personal encounter with him and in that encounter be given life. The mystery of the incarnation is the wellspring of the mystery of the sacraments. The Catechism of the Catholic Church speaks of this beautifully by calling the sacraments powers that come forth from the body of Christ. Among the scripture texts that ground this understanding is the one that narrates the real encounter between Jesus and a woman who had been ill with a hemorrhage for 12 years. And you know the story. Jesus is making his way through a large and dense crowd, and the woman senses that if she can just touch the fringe of his cloak, she'd be made well. And she was right. Power from the physical body of Christ went out from him and healed her when she touched his garment. In this context, the Catechism quotes Pope St. Leo the Great, who said this, What was visible in our Savior has passed over into his mysteries. Like that woman of old, we can touch the body of Christ for healing in life by touching his presence in the sacraments of the Church. Here we see how the sacramental encounter of Christ is distinct from all of the ways in which we can meet the Lord. We reach out to him in prayer. We encounter him in his word. We are with him in the presence of the Christian community. That's all real and wonderful. But in addition to all this, Jesus himself took the distinct and deliberate measure of instituting the sacraments as those unique celebrations of faith in which his tangibility and his visibility now are made available to people of all generations so that they may themselves have a fully human personal encounter with the Lord. From this comes the church's insistence on personal and physical presence in all sacramental celebrations. The priest must be physically present to confect the Eucharist at Mass. Recipients of the other sacraments must be present to receive physically the pouring of water or the anointing of oil, that physical contact with the mystery of Christ's body through which his power, the grace of salvation, flows. In the Sacrament of Reconciliation, the penitent's deep sorrow is given expression in the act of confession. This heartfelt admission of guilt to the priest who represents Christ is a deeply interpersonal exchange that points in a marvelous way to the incarnational reality of this and all sacraments. Virtual reality simply cannot substitute for the incarnational reality in the celebration of the sacraments that our Lord himself instituted. Thanks for the question. The people are thinking about these things shows me they appreciate the centrality of penance in the life of faith. And that's right, of course. This sacrament, as all the sacraments, are privileged spaces and occasions for an encounter with the Lord himself, one that is distinct from all others and wondrously beautiful. As we ponder these things, let's do so in a spirit of thanksgiving and surrender to the Lord Jesus, who became really present in his incarnation and who continues to meet us in that wondrous encounter that he makes possible in the sacraments of his church. Stay well, and God bless.